Now we are going to see to find whether one number is a multiple of another. To find whether one number is a multiple of another. So example 1, 78 is a multiple of 3. 78 is a multiple of 3. You have to find out whether it is a multiple or not. 78 is a multiple of this number or not. So I am going to solve the problem. 70 is a multiple of 3. First we have to divide 78 divided by 3. So you have to find out 78 is a multiple of 3. So first I am going to multiply uh, what? First I am going to divide 78 is going to divide it by what? 3 that is what I have uh, done the division. 78 is going to divide it by 3. So first I take the this is one sentence. I am taking the first uh, tens place value that is 7. 7 that means 7 is going to divide it by 3. 1 3 is a 3. 2 3 is a 6. So 2 I have written here 6. So 3 2 is a 6. So 7 is always you know that 7 is that is what? That is greater than 3. 7 is greater than 3. So 7 is greater than 3. So uh, I'm going to divide 7 is I'm going to uh, divide 7 divided by 3. I'm going to divide 7 by 3. Sorry, I'm going to divide 7 by 3. So 3, uh, 7, how many times it goes in 3 means 7 goes how many times in 3. That is 3 2 are 6. 3 2 are 6. That is 7 goes how many times in 3. That means 3 2 are 6. You have to use a 3 table. 3 2 are 6. So 7 minus 6 you can get 1. Then after that you have to compare 1 and 3. 1 is less than what? 3. So you have to bring down this number that is 18. This 1 8 is equal to 18. So 6 3s are 18. Again you have to say the table. 3 6 are 18. 18 minus 18 you can get what? 0. So the answer is 26. So if the, if, if the reminder is 0, this is 78 is a multiple of 3. If the reminder is 0, any number is a multiple of the particular number. So reminder is 0 means you surely you know that you can find out 78 is a multiple of 3. If the reminder is any number, it is not a multiple of the particular number number given number 78 is a given number 78 is multiple of 3 or not that is what you have to find out the reminder is what 0 this is a quotient so quotient is 26 26 and reminder is 0 so if you get reminder is 0 this number so given number this number is given that is what is a given number 78 78 is a multiple of 3 okay so 78 is multiple of 3 78 is multiple of multiple of 3 78 is a multiple of 3 now the quotient is 26 and reminder is what 0 quotient is 26 and reminder is 0 this is question is to find out whether one number is a multiple of another one number is 78 another number is 3 so this is a given number whether whether this number is multiple of 3 so what you're going to do you have to divide then you can find out the answer whether it is a multiple of 3 or not that is the uh, question you have to find out the 78 is divided by 3 that is what I have written so 78 is going, 7 I am going to do I am going to divide 78 is divided by 3 so what I am going to do first as usual you know that 7 and 3 I have to compare 7 is greater than 3 so what I am going to do so I am going to divide that is in 7 3 goes how many time 3 2 are 6 I have written 7 minus 6 you can get 1 so 1 and 3 compare you have to 1 is what less than 3 so I have to bring down the next number that is 1 8 18 so 18 is divided by 3 you can get what 6 6 3 is at 18 18 minus 18 you can get 0 so I've told you if the reminder is 0 this is specified if the reminder is 0 so the given number is multiple of the another number that is 78 is a multiple of 3 yes 78 is a multiple of 3 if the reminder is not 0 so what you're going to 78 is not a multiple of 3 but you can luckily you can get the answer is 0 not luckily probably you can exactly you can get the answer is 0 so if the reminder is 0 yes 78 is a multiple of 3 so if the reminder is not not zero that if, if the reminder is any number so what it is not a multiple of the given number the given number is not a multiple of another number uh, you can say like this so next is 92 90 so 90 not 92 93 example 2 93 is a multiple of 3 so basically is a multiple you can ask me why you are using division because if you use division only you can find out the answer of multiple of whether it is a multiple or not it's, it's all combined together so I've already told you that the factors we are using two method one is a multiplication method other one is a division method so here also some multiples I've told you what is a multiple that means 
the number so specific number that is you, you actually whatever the number you have taken so that is for example i have told you that is 5 okay the 5 is a number so 5 into 1 you can get what 5 so 5 into 1 these two numbers are factor the answer otherwise the product it is a multiple that is what i have written very clearly so okay um, so 93 so 93 is going to divide by 7 so what 9 is compared and say 9 uh, compare 9 and 7 9 is what greater than 7 so 1 7 is a 7 then what 9 minus 7 2 then bring down the 3 here so 7 3 is a 21 so 23 minus 21 you can get 2 so quotient is what 13 and reminder is 2 so second question this is example 1 that is example 1 answer that is what is 78 I have written 78 is divided by 3. So, an example 2 that is that is example 2. What is the number? 93, 93 is divided by what? 7. So, here the quotient is what? 13 and reminder is 2. So, if the reminder is 2, if the reminder, if the reminder is 2. So, if the reminder is not 0, not 0, so the given number, given number what? 93 is not a multiple of, multiple of what? 7. This is the answer for this question. I think so you understand.